it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, you know, the next few days. The timing is fluid, so let's just see what comes up. This reading is not sign-specific, nor is it time-specific. Well, they just seem to be dropping. Things seem to be dropping. Ten of Wands. Woo! That makes sense, too. This is this is somebody that is very overwhelmed. Take a look at that. Got a lot of baggage carrying something very, very heavy. This is uh, way, way, way too much to handle. This person is super overwhelmed. Very, very, very much so. Okay? So, I don't know if we're going to get that to focus. I don't even know if I'm going to try. But anyhow, that person, it looks like that person, I can't take it anymore. Somebody has reached the point where they can't take it anymore. It's like, I, I it's way, 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 way too much. Holding on, though. Holding on to stability. And this person, it's like you need to let it go. This person is holding on to something that needs to be let go. Same here. This is somebody that is... Um, really not wanting to give. Not wanting to give in. But this not wanting to give in is overwhelming. Seriously. It's too much. I don't think this person's going to be able to hold on much longer. I really don't. It looks as though this person, this is painful. It's almost, it's like, it's almost at a point of defeat. Okay. It's like, it's, um, it's like, it's really time to let this go. This is way, way, way too much. Interesting. I think there's going to be a fallout. Both of these cards fell out. Whatever, so these are both cards of holding on. Somebody has been holding on to something. And it's killing them. It is literally killing them. It's, it's like trying to do too much. Somebody is trying to do too much. I'm going to have to let that cat out because when she wants to go out, she wants to go out. Go ahead. It could definitely be a spat, okay? There could definitely be a spat, as you just heard. This, 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 little, this little male cat sitting here doing nothing. Nothing at all. And little Miss Pris decides, you know... She just wants to be nasty. That's exactly what just happened. For no reason at all. Be prepared for that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well. Whew, temperance. This is an exchange. This is a renewal. There's a purpose. There's a, it's time. It's time for an exchange. Hmm. It's time to let go, obviously, because that is that is excruciating. So could, somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. Now, this is balance is waiting, and this is a card of balance. So it's like balance is waiting, but somebody has to make a choice. They have to decide to let something go, tens or completions. But they're trying to prove something. This person is trying to prove something, and it is just about killing them. And this is very stubborn energy as well. So we definitely have a stubborn energy here. A stubborn individual. Th this is a card. This could be addictions. Hmm. Ooh. Lovers. This is a choice. There is a choice that needs to be made. A choice between two. Absolutely. And it's a quite unexpected choice. 
And this does have to do with balance. It's like you, you can bring some balance back to your life and peace and harmony. But you have to make the right choice. Now, this is a card of consequences. Be prepared to make a choice where there will be consequences in two different directions. Either way, there's going to be consequences. You can, you can stay where you're at. You can have something better. It's time to make a choice. Interesting. Ace of Swords. The Devil. Now, this is unhealthy. And this is definitely unhealthy. Somebody is bound to something that is unhealthy. This is definitely. And they are very greedy and selfish and stubborn. So we have some, and, and their, their stubbornness, and, and the reason that they're still bound to it, and they're still hanging on to it, is because of social pressure. But here's the key. This key can break you free from this unhealthy situation. It's like you're being offered the key to get out. You're being offered the key to a new doorway, but you have to take it. But this is a restriction of some, you see the chains? Somebody is chained to a situation. And they're staying there because they have some sort of something to prove. This Ten of Wands is trying to prove something. Now the Ace of Swords, that's a new idea. That's what I see this as. This is taking a new approach. Somebody may get some sort of awakening or some sort of epiphany. Maybe it's time to give instead of holding on. Maybe it's time to give some of the responsibilities or to, you know, this is overwhelming responsibility as well. Somebody may be trying to do too much. They may actually collapse because they're, they're working too hard or they're doing too much. There's definitely somebody is suffering from some sort of addictions and some people could be, and could be addicted to their work. They could be addicted to sex. They could, whatever this is, they could be as addicted to money or addicted to drugs, whatever. There's some sort of addiction here that is holding somebody down. It's bringing somebody down. There's definitely some addictions here. And it's costing money. Somebody could even have a sex addiction. I don't know why I see that, but I just do. It's like exchanging with multiple partners, perhaps. Just be careful. Somebody may be doing that, and you know, it's really unhealthy. Whatever. Anyhow, um, this is an awakening, a wake-up call. Hmm. Eight of Cups reversed and the Three of Cups reversed. Now, this is the end of a relationship, a third-party situation. Somebody may have cheated, and now somebody is thinking about leaving. They may be wanting to go back. Maybe maybe somebody made some, there's some consequences. So maybe somebody is suffering some consequences for engaging in a... Uh, I almost feel like for some of you, somebody uh, got involved with somebody based on, you know, they had sex with somebody and they, that, that they shouldn't have. And now there's some consequences for that. I'm just saying, I mean, that's what I really want to say. So that's what I'm going to say. And there's a, there's like, there's no relationship coming out of this. And there could be a loss of a friendship because of it. Now somebody wants to go back. Perhaps it's too late. There's nothing to celebrate here. Maybe somebody was out socializing and they were drinking and or doing drugs or something and things got out of hand. Somebody did something that they regret. This could be regrets. There was definitely an exchange, an exchange, you know, maybe somebody did something that... <laughs> They probably now regret and they wish they could go back and it's too late. There's definitely consequences for your actions. It's too late. I mean, somebody is, 
this is temptation. Somebody was tempted by, you know, something that looked really, really, really good. It looks like they took action on it. And now they're paying a price because this is a price right here. Somebody is paying the price for their dirty deeds. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Yeah, well, there's consequences for that. Don't think there's not. So this is a loss of a relationship, loss of a friendship. There's nothing to celebrate. There's Somebody may have um, uh, been socializing online. You know, this could be a social media thing. You know, and it led to sex. And now there's cons There's definitely, or drinking and whatever. There's some consequences here. Somebody's going to be suffering some consequences. Queen of Pentacles. Now this person knows their value. This is the Queen of Value right here. It is. She's very practical. She's very responsible. She's loyal. She's down to earth. She's devoted. She's a homemaker. She cooks. She cleans. She works. She's stable. Now, I don't know who this, 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 if this is it could be any sign. It doesn't matter what sign it is. Whoever this person is, this person, it looks like she has something in her hand. She has something in her hand. She, isn't, she has a victory in her hands. This is a victory. We have somebody here that is really, really suffering. There's <laughs> seriously, really, really, really suffering. They're suffering because this person has won. It looks to me like this. This is a win. This is the six of wands. It's through the battle, going through the battle, going through the war and winning. Somebody is suffering the consequences for their addictions, for their poor decisions and now there's been some sort of exchange and this person has reached rock bottom. They have reached rock bottom and they are suffering big time. It's like it's the end and it is the end. Somebody is at the point of defeat. We definitely have somebody here that has been defeated by this queen right here or this person that is stable, solid, secure, dependable, responsible. This person has won or is going to win. This is the this this person is very practical and logical and just she's hard to beat because she's such a hard worker. She or he. This person is doesn't quit, doesn't give up. So this is a victory. We have this person that is very devoted that is going to win because this is a win. But there's a loss of a friendship. There's a loss of a, rela a friendship or a relationship because there could, this is, could be jealous. There could be some jealousy issues here. I feel like this person is, if you notice it's right here, it's like this person may be getting a gift from somebody because it goes from this one to this one. So I feel like this person may be getting a gift. It could be getting a bonus. This person could be getting a bonus or... I don't know what this gift is, but whatever this gift is, it's something that you can hold on to. It's something It's something that you can touch, something that you can feel, something that um, you can really have. It's not something um, that isn't tangible. It's very. It's a tan something you can touch, okay? So we have somebody here that is going to be receiving something from another person. I don't know if you, whatever this is, this is a Capricorn. This is a key. Somebody could be getting a key to something. Somebody's going to be getting something. But there is a loss of a relationship here. That is what this, the Three of Cups reversed. You know, this is, this is like losing a friendship or losing a relationship that was probably toxic anyway. 
this is this is a this is the truth coming out this is communication somebody's going to receive some sort of communication from somebody and it could be somebody that has already left Okay, because this Eight of Cups, somebody that has already left, it's like maybe they want to come back. Somebody, somebody is definitely suffering, definitely suffering, and it's like they may want to come back. Maybe they left stupidly, got involved with somebody on a third party situation, and they really want to come back for some of you. Somebody wants a reunion, or there's going to be a reunion. Because this could be a reunion. There could be some sort of reconciliation or a reunion here. There could be, and it could happen very unexpectedly. So there could be an unexpected reunion here that is coming up in the next couple of days. Um, but this is the end of a painful situation where somebody has absolutely hit rock bottom and they just can't take it anymore. And that is no joke. Somebody really can't take it anymore. This is way, way, way too much to handle. It is way too much to handle. Somebody has really been knocked down. Really. It's like they have really, been, they're on their knees. They're on their knees and, and they are, they have reached the point where it's like, is this, am I ever going to wake up from this nightmare? You know, it just feels like, be, you know, if this hasn't happened yet or it's not happening in your life, it may be happening to somebody around you. I think there's going to be an exchange. This is an exchange. It's like somebody is getting something from somebody else. And it may be very, very unexpected. There is an unexpected reunion of some sort and I think this may not be who you think it is because that's usually what the lover's card is the lover's card signifies to me that you think it's somebody you think it's this person you you got this person in, in your head right that you know the name right you're you're thinking uh whoever it is right wrong it's somebody else so just keep that in your back pocket because I feel like, I mean, that's usually what the lover's card means to me. I think there's an unexpected reunion with somebody and it's not who you think it is. Um, <laughs> it's like somebody is coming back, so whatever that means, with, with the eight of cups reversed, somebody is coming back. Somebody may need help. Okay, they may need help because they've been defeated or they've been, or they're, uh, I don't know. It feels like they've, they've been in an unhealthy situation and they really need some help. I think that somebody does need help. Okay, by the looks of things. They need some help. They need tender loving care. They need some nurturing. They need some, somebody to uh, help them get back on their feet. Somebody needs help getting back on their feet. So, and this person is very capable. Very, very capable. So I think that we have this, this, this person that may be communicating or they may be, coming back, whatever that means. The Empress reversed. Somebody may have been dealing with a very selfish individual who really doesn't know how to take care of another person. The Empress reversed is a feminine that doesn't take care of her children. She doesn't feed her children well. She doesn't nurture her children. She doesn't take care of any, she can't even take care of herself. She doesn't even know her value. She's uh, selfish and smothering and childish and um, she's not working out of a high vibration, put it that way. She probably got herself involved in a third party relationship because she doesn't know her value. And she didn't focus on her kids. She didn't. She didn't focus on her on her children, or she doesn't focus on her children. She focuses on herself. She's very selfish. We have a very selfish individual here who may have 
overindulged. Okay, she may have overindulged or she just doesn't care about anybody but herself. Okay. Um, and this could be a loss because the Empress Reverse could be a loss of a child. Okay. It could be. Somebody could be losing their child because they didn't take care of it. Just saying. You know, when you don't put your motherhood first, especially when you're pregnant, that's child abuse. But anyhow, this right here, this is a mother who doesn't take care of her children. She doesn't take care of anybody. That's the truth. So there's some sort of, of truth that is coming out about a person that is very selfish. And there's a loss here. There's a loss of a, a relationship with the three of cups reversed. And the empress reversed. Eight of Swords. Somebody has been trapped. Trapped in some sort of confinement. They've been contained by another individual who is very, very selfish. Somebody could even be going to prison. Just saying. Somebody could be going to jail or going to prison. There's consequences here. Some sort of truth is about to be delivered. That is the truth. Somebody's going to get a wake-up call. A wake-up call. Seriously. There's definitely jealousy issues with this card and this card. Somebody is definitely jealous in this card. There's jealousy issues here over another person. Which has caused uh, somebody to not think clearly. Seven of Wands. Somebody's going to need to defend themselves by the looks of things. Wow. Whew. This is heavy. A very heavy reading. This person, somebody's been trying to prove themselves to stand their ground. But I don't, whatever they've been trying to prove, I think they've reached the point where there's nothing left to prove. You've been defeated. And that's what I got. Good luck.